Alright, welcome to another toy haul, and this one is a Fortnite haul of toys. Uh, and I'll start off with a couple of pickups I picked up. Uh, first up, managed to get myself uh, Jazz from the Transformers animated uh, cartoon. It was 99p. He uh, has sounds, and you press this button on the front, and he kind of transforms and pops up and uh, has his skipping ropes there. So a nice, pretty easy one for the kids to play with. Uh, again, it's a car thing, so thought, yep, the band will have that. And he's now rapidly growing collection of bits and pieces I bring in for him. And I also found this guy. I was really happy to find this guy. This is uh, Doc Hudson from Cars kind of enjoying kind of picking up and collecting the car's stuff um, and I think this is the original one from like the first movie I think it's dated 2006 not that you can see that at all um, so yeah I mean I, I'm kind of gathering this one's fairly rare I don't know but uh, it was 49 pence so uh, pretty chuffed for me me doc yeah uh, I also picked up some of the car stuff Here's a Lightning McQueen, uh, and this one's a, a, a plasticky one, and he has a pull back and go action, which I'll demonstrate. There you go, you've got to see a little, tiny little bit of spoiler there. I'll try it again! I'm trying to keep this video down because I've got an absolute load to go through with this being a fortnight, so uh, this video might actually last a fortnight, so just bear with us, uh, you know. I'll try and make it entertaining if I can. There you go, there's like uh, he was And he is kind of in skill, I guess I'll show that too. He's in skill, right, maybe a slight matter. But he's about in skill with a doesn't matter. He's gone, he's banging off. I also picked up a couple of deluxe cars. I got to defend Mick. Michelle in the submarine, and fortunately they didn't put the breathing apparatus on the car, which is a bit of a shame. But in this mode, uh, obviously you can kind of use them as an aeroplane kind of thing as well, which is kind of nice. Um, pick this other one up, I don't, I can't remember what the, the name was, uh, but I, I kind of just call him E Honda because essentially he just is a sumo dude. So again, that goes with me, kind of current growing cars collection. Uh, right, early on last couple of weeks back, I picked up another Godzilla. Uh, wow, look how shiny his toenails are. Uh, and this is a, a pretty small one, about maybe six inches type of thing. Uh, he was about a pound or a pound twenty or something like that. If you can see that. Uh, he does have some articulation. His arms moves, his legs moves, and his tail wags. Unfortunately, his head doesn't turn. But, uh, you know... It, I do like these, I did have kind of one of these esque things as a child, so when I see them, I pick them up because they're kind of cool. Uh, this one's dated like 1985 as well, so nice retro uh, Godzilla. Uh, I have done a video of this, and this is my Hero Quest Jigsaw that I picked up. Uh, I have. I have done a video, which I'll post after this video, but I've done a video sort of saying I've got this, and I've done another video saying I've completed it. So, watch out for those coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. Right, what else did I pick up? I found a uh, found nice micro machines truck. And this one falls out and it uh, makes a city to play with your micro machines with. And that was a couple of quid. Um, there's a few little bits, bits and pieces missing off it, but generally it's in it's in good nick and it's majority of it's there. So. Happy days. I'll shift that out the way. Uh, right. If you've seen me, uh, my Father's Day video I did uh, for my son, uh, I got one of these bought for me, and I also have now found one as well. It was a few quid in the charity shop, um, and the band kind of plays with this one, and it's me swap to, to either sell or trade or. Uh, you know, do with whatever you do with spare Megazords, I guess. Um, but it, it's a, it's an excellent Megazord, so I thought, well, for that kind of money, I can't leave it just sitting there. I'll have to pick it up. So 
Oh, there you go. I have a spare Astro Megazord if anybody's interested. Did he just say ass? He said Astro. Oh, okay. Uh, Playmobil. Picked myself up a Playmobil packet here for 99p. Uh, this was sealed, so I thought, well, chances is there'll be the cage and possibly the eel. Uh, but nope, it was 100% complete inside, so I've got all of the stuff you see on the back there. Um, so that'll be a good good one to play with in the bath, I think. Reenact the Jaws, or a scene from Jaws. The scene where they are in the cage, I guess. Right, Domino Express. Uh, this is the kind of the, the Pizza Express to the... Uh, Pizza Hut Domino Rally, if that makes any sense. I've been after picking some of this up. I have seen a lot of it kicking about and things, and uh, I, I kind of thought, if I pick one up, I want to pick one up that's got a lot of the big tricks in there. So I've got this one, and uh, as you can see, it has the, the loop de loop, uh, the uh, motorized dealer, which is kind of nice, the zigzag, the uh, rocket launcher, the jet launcher, and it includes over 180 dominoes. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll pick one up, and you know, I don't know if I'll be picking any more up, but to have one, just to just to have a look and a try and a go, uh, it was worth picking up. <laughs> and well, there is people on there who do like massive videos with. Uh, seem to be zooming in. What am I doing? Stop touching things. Uh, do videos with like huge. Things and stunts with them, and they're fantastic videos. But I just don't think I'll be ever doing anything like that, apart from setting them up in a line with me auto dealer and pressing the button to knock them over. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I also picked this up, which is the big Disney board game. Uh, it's a board game, as in it's a game you play when you're bored, rather than that the stuff inside is boards. Uh, inside it is. Uh, when you open, it might not open. Ah, oh, come on, it's so big. There might be tape on it. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, basically, there's the instructions, or uh, not very good instructions, but uh, you get like packs of cards and things, and uh, lots of different cards and dice. And you fill these up with the cards, and there's a this thing which spins and does stuff. Uh, it looked pretty like retro and old and was like two or three quid so I thought well I'll just pick it up and uh, it'll go with me, uh, me sort of continuing collection of Disney and all sorts of other things. Um, I've yet to locate one online to kind of see I suppose I could use my barcode scanner to see what, see what it's made out of. Uh, I can't find a date on it anywhere so if anybody's a Disney sort of person uh, and knows any more information, please pass some on to me. Uh, right, that's, I'll move this out of the way because that's a big, big thing. Uh, right, what we've got now. A couple of online bits and pieces I picked up. Uh, I managed to grab myself uh, three Malcolms. So you got Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park. Um, I do have this figure, but I don't. I think my version has that head, so I now have like two versions of the same figure with two different heads. And then there's Ian Malcolm's daughter, whose first name I have no idea what it is off the top of my head. Uh, she was an exclusive with the playset from this series, um, but I just got out in an auction with these for a couple of quid. So uh, you know, all goes in my Jurassic Park collection. And the other thing I picked up online was this. Uh, no, they're not uh, regatta shoes. It's just the box I've put the stuff in because there's loads of bits. Right, there you go. Uh, ten points if you can tell us what it is. But, uh, I don't know, like I've looked it up. It's uh, something god or something. Uh, Demi god or something. Kind of... Uh, it's just playing about on eBay. And there was this auction finishing and had these on. And I just put a cheeky little bit on and I won it. And it's really cool because it's like it goes really nicely with the Megazords. It's like 
this is kind of pre Megazords, if you know what I mean. So uh, there is three of them. This one is kind of smashed up. Uh, I kind of think I might be able to repair them, but uh, he does still combine just about uh, as the leg. And just you get this as the big kind of ooby dooby thing. I do want to, when I get that repaired at some point, do a video showing this in its full kind of assortment. But like I said, I got it for a pretty good price. And it's a really nice toy as well, so uh, rather happy with it. Just obviously a bit annoyed that that one is broken. It was listed as uh, needed in repair, so I can't really blame the person who sold it to me, unfortunately. <coughs> he says. Right, now then I think we're nearly done. Uh Probably just the last thing today, which is what I picked up. This is what I got today. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm dying. Right, I've, I've got myself a flicker, uh, which, as you can see, works and Hola. speaks. That's from Handy Money. I uh, got myself a Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh, horrid Henry. Or Henry. Uh, depends where you're from, I guess. He's a really nice figure. Uh, lots of articulation on him. Um, a lot. Like, he looks really basic, but actually when you get a hold of him in your hands, he, he can do quite a lot. I uh, got a Donald Fireman Duck. And a Rock Lord. This is the Pterodactyl Rock Lord. I also got another big bag of Duplo. Um, and I have kind of condensed all them down, so it's actually, you know, it's a, it's a lot more in there. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of uh, bricks in there, all shapes and sizes ones. Got that, and in that bag there was a lot of, like, other kind of blocky things which aren't Jubilo, but, you know, kind of like some Lego and some other mega blocky, small blocky things. I got all those, all that, them and the blocks for £2. So I'm rather chuffed for that. Uh, and the last thing that I picked up as well today is some. Oh, switch that. Is some more Star Wars. And these is, uh, these is the Star Wars collections, vintage collection Star Wars. And I've really been in like an. Been liking, I've been <coughs> enjoying these. I'm dying here, I'm absolutely choking down. I'd like to drink. Right, these are the classic collection ones. Um, these are pretty cool. The old, the other ones I had didn't have this on the back where it shows you the other ones you can get and like telling you what and when the this like the figure first appeared, appeared, appeared in the kind of Star Wars toy collections over the years. So anyway, so I've picked up Sam Weasel, or Wessel, or whatever you want to call that. I've uh, picked up uh, Kit Fisto. <coughs> <coughs> it's okay, it's just lungs, I'll grow some now. I picked up Django Fett. Uh, really looking forward to getting this guy uh, out of the package because he's got a rocket firing thing there and you can remove his helmet and he's got a poncho thing you can take off him and make other people wear and things like that. So that's, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I've got a sand trooper. Although I'm kind of, I would have thought his shoulder would have been red or is that, I don't know, maybe I'm, because I know I've got, I have that one uh, and he has the orange shoulder thing so I don't know why that one's white I don't know is it white in the movie I don't know I do not know I also picked up a, a very sexy young McGregor there a very nice good likeness uh, to his face and finally a Mace Windu and that also is a really really cool looking figure there was a few other ones there but uh, I kind of Thought no, I'll, I'll I'll try and restrain myself uh, from the excitement of picking them all up. So I grabbed those ones because those were like the, the best ones there. Uh, and that is my Fortnite toy haul. Um, I probably will go to Fortnightly on the toy hauls now. 
uh, because I'm wanting to put other videos up as well and at the moment I'm just doing toy hauls so I want to do other videos and toy hauls so thanks for bearing with this one I mean this one's probably longer than any other toy haul I've done before uh, but I'm gonna try and like I say put them fortnightly and just see how that goes so stay tuned you'll see all the stuff I'm picking up and whatever other bits and pieces I say I want to review or some of me stuff from my already collection that I haven't showed you yet. Bye.